My journey began in 2012. I walked into Fitness Canterbury at 108.5 kg, very overweight, unhappy, unconfident and very unfit. I have struggled with my weight since my 30s. People always ask me what changed, what was the moment that I thought to myself this is it. Well it was getting out of bed. I felt like an old woman. I was in so much pain and discomfort in my feet. Yes, a little thing like that tipped me over. I had the light bulb moment that if I didn't do it now, I probably never would and would end up being unhappy and overweight forever and not be there for my children and grandchildren. I was very skeptical having a trainer. I needed someone to listen to me and help me through this journey. Not just exercise but there to guide me through food, mindset and my inner struggles. It was a hard long slog the first few sessions, being unfit and overweight. I was embarrassed about my weight but everyone at the gym made me feel welcome. I had a lot of pain, sweat and tears along the way. My philosophy was and still is, try everything once, don't say I can't unless I really couldn't. The pain of getting up in the morning, not with sore feet, but aching muscles. Sweat from the hard workout sessions where I felt like ripping my trainer's head off and tears from me thinking I was useless and too big and would never get there. But with the help of my trainers who pushed me to believe in myself and also through injuries and aches and pains, of which there were many, I slowly saw a new me emerging. I celebrated my success on the scales and measurements. I hung clothes upon my wardrobe that I wanted to get into. I rewarded myself not with food and drink, but with practical gifts to myself on milestones, 5kg, 10kg, 25kg, 40kg. And of course, there was always someone to say well done, the best gift ever. My challenges along the way. I've had many injuries, just a few, but I never let this stop me. Even when I had a sling on, I'd be there or out walking around the block. One major challenge I face is not the challenge of losing weight, but keeping it off. My lifestyle changed. I found a new me and a new life. I met my husband at the gym. We travelled and have a great life. And with this, the weight slowly, 12 kg, crept back on and couldn't seem to get back into it no matter what my trainer or myself said. I believe that you have to be ready to change. The light bulb moment and with more and more hard work and shame on my back I'm almost there. Originally losing 56 kg I'm back on track with only 4 kg left to lose. My advice to anyone is you can only start your journey when you're ready. You really have to fully commit to doing it. Sacrifices have to be made to get there. Be focused on the destination and expect a journey. Set those small goals along the way and your family and the gym friends will always encourage you to succeed. Losing weight has made me more confident in myself and I look forward to each and every day, maybe not free of muscle pain, compared to the old Ruth, happy, fit and strong. So be brave, be strong, be you.